Do you like cheese? Well, good for you. I had no idea how else to start this video, so that's my intro and I'm sticking with it. Because doing the top of the morning to you laddie seems a bit too over the top for vlogs sometimes. It's like, it's like getting ready for a horse race when all you want to do is really just sit down and have a cup of tea and have a bit of a, have a bit of a snooze. So, I'm not gonna lie, the last couple of days have been a bit slow in regards to productivity. My internet was down a couple of days ago because as with coming to a new place, there's a lot of stuff that you have to- <laughs> There's a lot of stuff that you have to get in order and there's a lot of stuff that kind of creeps up on you and then suddenly happens and you have to deal with and it's a- It's a new place, it's a new area, you don't really know how to go about it, so... Learning exercises and learning experiences, but they- There's a thing got to do with my phone bill or my internet bill or something that apparently wasn't paid I got no notification of that so they turned off the internet and then I had to go around and fix that but just paying the bill Again, if my bill is <laughs> is not there, just fucking send me one and I'll pay it, no problem. But I thought it had already been paid and then they were like, Oh, you didn't pay us so we're turning off your internet. So I had no internet for like half a day and then that slowed me down. And then last night I was syncing stuff to Robin for him to edit and I was uploading videos. And because the internet is slower here than it was back home, that my internet started to restart during the middle of the night. I came and sat down here and my computer was off. It's like, oh no. And then I, I went on and only half of one video had uploaded and then the stuff to Robin didn't sync so stuff was slow being edited because of that and then stuff wasn't uploaded and all this sorts of nonsense which is annoying because that stuff is out of my control. And I'm so on point when it comes to my work ethic and my schedule and my videos when everything's in my control but when the internet fights against me like what are you gonna do? So I don't know, it's kind of left me in a bit of a slump um, and instead of like trying to power through a video, instead of just sitting down here and recording something that I could easily just shout my head off at and everyone would probably eat it up and whatever, but I, I don't want to do that. It would feel fake. It would feel weird. It would feel off. It would- I, I would just be doing it for the sake of getting a video out and I don't really want to do that. I've always said to you guys that I'd rather do stuff when I'm feeling it, when I'm passionate, when I- when I actually want to do it and I always say that I wanted to be honest as well, so I'm not just going to fart out videos for the sake of putting up videos all the time. I don't know, you kind of get into auto mode after a while when you're doing videos for this long. And when they're like so consistent, your brain just like keeps on churning, keeps on going. And it's only when stuff kind of falls apart that you're sitting here like, wait. And then you, I don't know, you reevaluate some things in your head and you reflect and you have time to actually think instead of just going into machine mode all the time, which is good. Because it gets stressful after a while when you're uploading videos all the time. And if something goes wrong, it's very quick it's very easy to go into the mode of like, shit, how do I fix this? I, do I have backups? Do I have stuff ready? Is stuff ready to go? Instead of just sitting and being like, okay, breathe, relax. Stuff can go wrong sometimes and you can deal with it and you can get through it and you can come out better on the far end of it. So I'm just going to take this opportunity to sit, relax and think and breathe and take a little time for myself. Because I don't often do that. I get into videos so much and I, I upload so often and I... I just churn out content all the time. Not to say that's a bad thing. I freaking love doing it. As I said, I wouldn't do it if I if I didn't actually care about it and if I didn't like doing it. But it's nice sometimes to just sit back and and take a breather and just look at things differently. And it gives me time to catch up on other things like social media and everything. Because sometimes I don't get enough time to do that. Not enough time as I would like to do. Not enough time to interact with all you guys. We've been here for about a month now. I think, it was, yeah, it was about the 16th of May that we actually moved here. So we've been here for about a month. And that sounds like a long time, but when you're actually in it, it's incredibly short because we only got furniture like a week ago. Uh, we, we had a lot of issues trying to get furniture because we're like, we don't know that number. That's an Irish number. We can't deliver to that. That was like such a big hurdle to try and get over for some reason. I don't know why. And all these, all these little things that come um, and get in the way that slows everything down. But it's been really fun, I think. It's fun getting a new place. It's fun like putting everything together. It's fun figuring out new things. It's a nice new challenge. Sometimes a little fr it's a little frustrating because there's a lot of stuff to do and sometimes I don't have the time to do them, but it's it's nice because I, I really like it here. I really like this city. Brighton's a very, very nice place and it's very inspiring when you walk around town and there's just, there's a nice hustle and bustle around because I'm a country boy. I grew up in a very, very small village that was 90% countryside. And then I moved to a log cabin in the middle of the woods that was 100% countryside. 
So, to come here, because I always used to love the weekends when I lived back in the other apartment. Because you would just always have a lot of people around. Fridays and Saturdays, there was always a nice hub of activity going around town. And then Sundays would happen to be nobody around town. That's why Sunday was one of my least favorite days. Because all the shops would close early as well. But being here, there's just always people around all the time, always working. I like that productive cycle. I like watching people go about their day. I like watching people accomplish things. I like watching people do, do their jobs and being creative and just getting work done. I like people getting shit done. I don't know why. I never used to be like that the lo uh, for a long time. And then doing YouTube, I think, kind of turned me into it. Like, uploading videos every day and finishing a project every day. It just... It's inspiring to watch other people work, I think. And it's, it's motivating to just see other people be active. It kind of makes you want to be active. And it kind of makes you want to do stuff and have a, have a strong drive. But I know, it's, it was easy to fall into a slump when I was in Ireland. It was easy to get complacent by just uploading videos and doing the same routine over and over again every day. And the days just seemed to, like, fly by. And I was getting my videos done, but I didn't feel like I was doing much else. It felt, as I said, it felt like I was on autopilot, so I needed a change. I needed to reinvigorate myself, and I think you can actually see that in the videos since I moved. That there's a lot more energy, there's a lot more... <sighs> oomph, I guess, is the word I'm looking for. Because <laughs> I feel like I'm rejuvenated. And hopefully that lasts. Hopefully I feel like that for a long time, because... As I said, it's very easy to fall into that space of just uploading content. It's very easy to fall in that space that people like what I upload. It's easy just play a game, shout at it, people will watch, whatever. But I, I don't want to be like that. I don't want to just upload for the sake of uploading. I've seen far too many people fall into that trap and go down that path. And it stopped, it's made me stop watching some people. And I, I would hate for that to happen on this channel. And I struggled with that for a while. There was a lot of questions, there was a lot of self-doubt, there was a lot of wondering what I'm doing and if I'm doing things properly. Because when you do it so often and so much and so f consistently, it starts to blur in your mind what you're uploading and when you're uploading it and that kind of stuff. It's very easy to lose yourself in the middle of everything that's going on. And especially in the world of YouTube, it's very, very easy to lose yourself. And I, I never want to lose that spark. Because I, I started off doing YouTube for a very big, strong reason, and that was that it was fun to do. I wanted to share energy and happiness with people. I wanted to make people laugh. I wanted to see if I could do it. I wanted to see if I could actually make people laugh and smile and enjoy games as much as I did. And I wanted to see if you could form that community and that bond and get people together and share a community with everybody and make everyone feel welcome in a place. And I do feel like we accomplished that very, very well and I'm super happy about that. But that's the one thing I don't want to lose in the middle of everything. I don't want to lose myself, <laughs> but I also don't want to lose you guys. Um, morally and mentally in a way. There, there will always be people on the channel that's the thing about big YouTube channels is that new people or old people go out, new people come in. It's it's one of those cycles that keeps happening, but I don't want it to be that. I don't want it to just be a cycle. I want it to still feel engaging. I want it to still feel involving. I want it to still feel like it's something cool and something fun to do and inspire other people to get up and do it and do that stuff that when I watched YouTube before I started to try and like get that sort of reaction out of people and get them to feel like they're actually there with someone playing a game, like a friend playing a game or interacting and not just some person who's unreachable, if you get me. This, this has kind of gone off on a bit of a tangent, but that's kind of cycling back to what I mean about not uploading videos just for the sake of uploading videos. So because stuff went a little haywire, because I was slowed down a small bit, instead of just pumping out content for the sake of pumping out content and falling into that trap, I thought I'd just do a little vlog and talk to you and open up because it's been a while. Well, I did a, a vlog when I moved here as well, but it's been a while since we, I just sat and talked and kind of thought vomited onto a camera. Oh God, I'm smacking my fan. <laughs> um, because these types of vlogs are very therapeutic and they, they reaffirm a lot of stuff that's going through my head and they kind of bring me back down and let me just sit and go, yeah. Okay. <laughs> anyway, I'll be back, of course, making uh, goofs tomorrow, as always, and yelling at games and reacting very strongly and very energetically to everything, as I always have, but just want to know I'm still here. Appreciate you guys. You guys are the best, and I, I thank you for being here all this time. 
and I hope you guys still feel that connection and I hope you still feel welcomed and loved within this community. Um, I don't know. I mean, let me know some thoughts in the comments, what you're feeling. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, punch that like button in the face! Wake up, boys! And... Bye, bye, bro. Whoosh! Whoosh! Thank you guys, and I will see all you dudes in the next video! So symmetrical, look at that beauty.